Next tool, Flagship Mini. After its pretty much impeccable performance on the Scissors Gauntlet, where it scored number one, in fact, of all of the multi-tools, 17 out of 20, we have to kind of look at the whole tool set and say, is this really worth your money or not? And we're gonna do a quick comparison to the Gerber Dime, as well as the Leatherman Style PS, and we can infer also the Leatherman Squirt. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done, talk about it a little bit, and help you decide if this is something that you might wanna consider. So the next tool flagship mini kind of falls into the keychain multi-tool category. And on that side of things, it is probably at the very top end of the weight and function ratio. It has a actual weight of just under three ounces or around, it's about 80 grams. So this is not a very light multi-tool as far as the small multi-tools are concerned. So if you actually look at it from the side compared to the Gerber Dime, it's very similar, although even maybe even a little bit bigger and definitely substantially thicker than the Leatherman Style PS, which is only coming in at about one and a half ounces. So this is almost a tool where you're going to be carrying it much closer to way to the way you would normally carry a multi-tool, whether it's in an organizer, um, in some form of holster, or maybe just in your pocket, or possibly even in your watch pocket. So, with the extra weight, do we get anything of benefit here? Well, yeah, you get a lot of benefit from it. So, let's start with the, the big, super awesome thing that's in this tool, and that is the ridiculous scissors that are in here. So this scissor performed better than any other multifunctional, multi-tool scissor on our list. It, it scored a 17 out of 20. It was rated number one. Now it did not successfully perform the precision test, which is to be expected because of how thick these are, but they are phenomenal and they really cut almost anything we threw at them. And for a tool this small to have scissors that are pretty much bigger than even the Leatherman Surge is kind of a big thing. And it's probably the most important reason why you would want to consider it. The second reason, of course, is that it also has a pair of spring-loaded pliers. Now, here's what's interesting here, is that these pliers are not the same size as those that you find elsewhere. So these pliers, these pliers are significantly bigger. So if we're comparing them to the Gerber Dime, right? Not only are they bigger in length, they're bigger in thickness as well. In fact, I think they are about equal to the ones that are on the Leatherman Style PS and or the Squirt. What's actually interesting though, is there's more metal around the pliers. Now, I, so far, we're looking real good, right? Slightly bigger, more robust pliers, amazing scissor. What about the rest of the tool set? Let's talk about that for a second. So this comes with a two-dimensional Phillips, just like a lot of these other tools do. So this one has a long two-dimensional Phillips on the end right here. And this one has a really short, kind of flimsy one not my favorite thing, as you can tell, on the end here. Okay, this is both thicker and longer than both of these. Well, actually, it's a little bit shorter now that I'm saying that, but it is definitely a thicker tool. And as you can see, it actually has cutouts for that Phillips design. I'm not gonna say that it's necessarily better than this because there's an added advantage to these thinner flatheads that they can be used for precision electronics or even for glasses if they are fine enough. And I, I don't know, this is like bordering on that level of, of precision. But either way, this once again has a much nicer Phillips driver than the Gerber. On the other side, we have a nail file. Now, 
What's cool about this is this is actually a good nail file on both sides, which really is quite surprising. Now your mileage may vary, and we'll talk about consistencies of quality in just a few minutes. But the, my crosscut file is excellent. And it's not as good as the one on the Leatherman Style PS as far as being a nail file, but it's very feasible. And of course we have a flathead, which when you look at the way this is set up, it actually has a dedicated um, like, I don't know what size this would actually correspond to, but it appears to be the right one for this width, at least to my eyes. I think if you go any, any thicker, you have to go wider, but this one seems to work pretty good. Now on the other side, which by the way, everything is outside accessible and you just pull it out like that, is a blade. And this one is also quite a bit bigger. Now the Style PS does not have a blade, but if you compare this to the Gerber Dime, you will get a significantly bigger blade. That is not to say that it's definitely better. I like the shape actually quite a bit and it came rather sharp, surprisingly. Um, but what I'm not so keen on is the amount of tension that it has. So I will say that I really, when it comes to these types of tools, I would rather there be a, some sort of pull cutter or um, hook cutter versus something that's in this blade form, just because not only is they, are they kind of too short to do a lot of tasks, but if you're doing something where it could potentially collapse on your finger, it's a bad day. It's a really bad day. But that's just my critique of these style of tools in general. And then the last tool on this is surprisingly well done. And that is a, well, we'll just call it the can opener because uh, everything is a freaking bottle opener. But anyway, this actually has a decent can opener. And because of the way it's set up, you can actually get enough leverage to actually open cans with it. That's actually a surprisingly practical feature on this particular tool set. And from the size, it actually makes sense for something this small to have an actual can opener. Just like I like uh, the can opener on the Victorinox 84 millimeter, which is also quite light. This is another, you know, functional and useful tool. So the tool set on this is really good. And if I was being honest, this is a better tool set, in fact, than in my opinion, the Leatherman Squirt or, or the Leatherman Dime. Or I mean, the Gerber Dime. Okay, not Leatherman Dime. The Gerber Dime. I think the problem is the problem that plagues many of these off-branded multifunctional tools. The problem is quality control. Uh, I have also taken the liberty of reading through many of the comments relating to this tool. So the first thing you want to be aware of is that the spring bars. So all of these small springs that you see right here, one, two, uh, three, and four, I've seen a number of pictures with broken springs. This is not surprising. I have seen uh, heat treatments of these springs that uh, just shatter. You know, we, we saw my Leatherman style PS. This spring is well known for breaking. It's because these little pieces of metal, they get hotter in when they're doing the treatment than the rest of the frame because it's kind of off by itself, as it were. And because of that, sometimes they will break. So I have seen a couple of pictures where that spring has broken. And that's also true up here with the uh, spring for the scissors. Now, I don't think it's this one on the inside, but I do think the one on the outside, this one here, I've seen this broken. So, is it any worse than the Gerber Dime or the things that I've seen with the Gerber Dime? No, it's not any worse. They're about equal. In fact, um, because it's a small tool, you'll see more breakage because of abuse or overuse of something like the pliers than uh, just being a, a problem of quality. But it does have slightly inconsistent quality from what I've seen. That's just something you should be aware of. 
That being said, this tool, I think I, I looked it up right now, is just over the $20 mark. It's like 20, 21. And the scissors on this are far, far, far better than pretty much anything in this category, like anything in this category. Not even close. The micro doesn't even get close. The the Gerber, you know, Gerber splice. I mean, these these are just not even coming remotely in line with the uh, abilities that this scissor provides. And it's a very comfortable spring loaded, spring loaded scissor. Very, very easy to use. Great shape and geometry. And God, it just cuts through freaking everything. I'll put a link to the uh, testing of this one down in the description. But yeah, the next tool, Flagship Mini. Of all of the next tools that I've tested, this one probably is the most impressive. And I think has probably the best tool set in this size range that I have seen. They're all useful functions. And uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And since I'm here, while I'm thinking about it, I was curious if one of those implements would then function as a tool you can use with this. And yeah, and it does. It does in fact do that. That's pretty cool. So this is the flathead and yeah, you can use the Leatherman rebar bit kit. I keep finding new ways you can use this kit, by the way, in this extender. This this will allow you to use Leatherman bits and you put it in diagonally as you've seen here. And uh, yeah, now obviously it doesn't lock, but is it gonna give you a inline screwdriver with a whole bunch of different bits? Yep. Yes, it is. So that works. Um, I'm wondering if the Phillips works. It's probably about the same in geometry. No, actually it's not, it's thinner. Okay, so the flathead is where you wanna use it, I guess. That's pretty cool. Bam. So just in conclusion here, um, we're talking primarily a comparison between the Gerber Dime and the next tool flagship pro because they are almost identical in price and the benefits of the dime are the fact that it's going to be lighter and a little bit more compact and even though i wouldn't carry either one of these on my keychain it's a it's a little bit easier to carry on a keychain that's pretty much it because this has bigger pliers substantially better scissors substantially better drivers and uh bigger pliers yeah so I think this is really good. I think they're both probably decent for the price. Uh, but now that I'm seeing it's capable of using that bit driver, that definitely puts it up a little bit higher. Because I don't think, I'm double check right now, but I don't think that the driver here does work. Oh wait, I take it back. It does work. Huzzah. Another thing you can do with the Gerber Dime that I missed in that video. Yeah, you can use it with the uh, rebar bit holder. Doesn't go down as far, but it does work. So now you have all your bits and a handle for it. So yeah, these are both really good. And I think as far as the next tool, flagship mini, I know I keep mixing those up. The flagship mini, I think is decent for the price. Is it gonna replace a full-size multi-tool or a dedicated tool? Absolutely not. Is this gonna work really well in a small bag? Uh, you know, kind of buried in the bottom of your pocket, attached to your keychain. Yeah, they will. It will hopefully be a forget me tool. Those are kind of the ideal ones when you just forget it's there and then all of a sudden you need it and now you have it. Yeah, I think this is going to work for some people. The real consideration is how do you carry it? Um, for me, I'm hoping and I have much deeper watch pockets. That's where I would keep this. I would keep it in a watch pocket with a lanyard and then I'd pull it out. And I probably forget it's there because it's small enough that basically that's the deal. Anyway, thanks for your time, guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll be back again soon to talk about the other two models made by Nextdoor.